What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Show you what I've been working on today. Well, let's just take a step back. Take a step back, and for me, since it's been really putting me through the paces, I'm just going to sit here and enjoy this for a minute. Now you can see the headlight bezels that come in yesterday. They're not bad. Not bad at all. I was able to get through the patches today. Let me grab one of them for you. This is where I left off with you guys yesterday. Boom. So we start off on a Nomad. Your, your inner wheel well comes through there and then drops down. So you started off with just a little section of rust. And then they've taken it all the way out to here. And then I'll have to put a patch in it to make it even bigger. When all you really started with was a little section of rust. And the same back here. That was the second set of uh, patches. This little gem right there galvanized steel and they even put a little putty on the back of it to keep the material from or the the rain from coming through so think of that if you start with a little section of rust and then you go an inch all the way around it when i put a patch in it i'm gonna have to go an inch past that because they beat it all up so that's what i discovered today on that and then the wheel well i knew it needed some work there and it needs Needs some more work there. But that's what was hiding underneath of it. And I was able to get all this stripped down. And then it's had more damage back there. Somebody didn't know how to back up or something. So I'm going to have to cut them pretty much some hatchet marks out. And then I'll put a new piece of metal in there on both of them. I just... I'm not willing to make the commitment. Plus, if you if you put a full quarter on there, you're not dealing with the little areas. You're dealing with the full perimeter all the way around. So it's kind of like a wash for me. I'd rather just patch it. So that's that's where I got the body at today. And then I'll show you something that I picked up today. You can see it in there. This is a 57 front seat and they're not the same as a 56 or a 57 or a 55 or a 56 excuse me 1955 and 56 will interchange 57 is a one year only seat and you can see by how the back is flat 56 and a 55 have like a pillow towards the back of them and then this your side skirt isn't quite as tall. On a 55 and 6, it goes much further up. So that's that's a genuine 57 Chevy two-door hardtop Nomad two-door sedan convertible front seat. One year only. It's a tough one to find. But it looks cool in there. It's not quite 100% the original material, but I was just, when the video started, I was just the first time sitting in this 57, so I was kind of enjoying it for a minute. But if you, if you just keep this image for a minute, see how that's all flat on the back? I'll walk you in and show you the difference on a 55. It's 
see how this the side skirt comes all the way up it comes all the way up and then the top of it has like a pillow that rolls around now you can run a 55 seat or a 56 seat and a 57 but I just like to have the right stuff for them so I got that front seat today um, I'm still waiting on my inserts for the quarter panels But it does have all the glass in it now, which first time for everything. That's the first time I've seen it with all the glass in there. But let's check the seat out from this side. I mean, this it's hard to find a 57 front seat, and that one that was pretty decent. But you can see now that I've showed you, there's no pillows. There's no pillows. It's smooth. And look how short. Look how short the uh, side skirt is. 55 it goes way up so I was happy to get that piece today I actually just put it in there before I did this video so here's your quick progress update on the 57 Nomad project car man this quarter over here is Man, it's like butter compared to that other one. This quarter's pretty decent on the car. I mean, obviously it's got issues down there with the wheel well like the other side, but sometimes you just can't explain what happens to cars. And, you know, what in the world would have happened to that quarter panel? It does look a lot better if you go back and look at some of the previous videos. I was watching them earlier. It looks a lot better just sand it down. As you can see on the ground, I mean, there was there was a lot of putty in there. It was going everywhere. My wife said I had to wash her car because now it's it's got putty all over it. But I could do more videos on the front seat if you guys would like, but it's pretty basic. 55 and a 56 has the pillow towards the top. The top rolls over, and the side skirt comes way up. And a 57 is smooth on the back, and the side skirt only comes about halfway up. So, as days go by, I'll continue to get the rest of this side sanded down and primed, and even the tailgate. I haven't really much touched that yet. And it doesn't have the window trim, because so I still got to clean around them windows. I actually still need a window. That one's got a crack in it, but it's, it's filling the void for right now. So, I'll do the tailgate, do the rest of the sides, and then I'll probably start working on that nightmare right there. That's the gems you find when you start sanding onto an old car, because these cars are closing in on 70 years old, 65 years old. They've, some, somebody's got their hand on them, and chances are they did it however they wanted to, and I, you know, I was going to look and see when like the first MIG welder come out because that that had to have been done before MIG was out it had to have been because there was even some brazen done on that patch where it's still yellow there was a patch on there so I'm thinking probably late 60s maybe early 70s but the car is really starting to come along this side like I said I'll probably start doing a little bit of body work on this side trying to iron it out the right side is real decent but like I can't put no trim on this side without fixing that door and fixing the quarters and stuff. Uh, the nose is the nose is actually really really good. Not much to do. Well, I say that once I sand it down, there might be a lot to do. So tell me what you guys think. It's it's pretty awesome to see it with the with the actual windows back in it. But you see what I mean about this side. It, this side's this side survives somehow compared to that other side. Jeez Louise. Maybe they had light on the right side or somebody guided them and the left side they just drove in on their own terms. But it's definitely starting to get there. Little by little. It's not easy. There's three or four layers of paint and body putty and you name it underneath there. And I knew this quarter panel was going to have some issues, and I'll 
I do some step-by-step -step videos when I put patches on there. Because I actually, I, I think I got some patches somewhere, but I'll actually, I got some patches out of like a 55 or something like sections of the quarter panel and I'll, how it curves up there. I'll just cut me a piece right out of original metal from the 50s. Clean it on both sides, prep it, butt weld it in there. It's going to take a little time. And these windows on this side are just barely in there uh, because I know I'm going to have to do some welding up by them. If you don't know, if you weld real close to windows, first time you go to wash them windows with paper towel, it's going to snag. You're going to, you're going to basically send hot lava into them windows. It's a drag. You can't get it out either. You, you pretty much ruined the windows at that point. So I'll pull them out. I, even though the one's cracked, I'll still pull it out. So there it is, guys. We've really been getting after it. We've really been getting some progress done on that car. Pretty soon, it won't be missing much. Have to dig up a motor and transmission or something for it. Figure out what's next. You guys stay safe out there. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch you guys on the next video.